Hey, how's it going? It's Peter from the film scoring department. I'm recording a Roboto performance today. I want to capture it in logic without recording to the metronome or wor worrying about which bars it's recording on. But then I, afterwards, I want to map it to the timeline. So I'm just going to start by recording. I don't have the clicks on. I'm not worrying about where this starts. I'm just going to lay down a performance of a, a, a pretty Roboto eight bar tune. So there's my eight bars of music, um, and if I play it, it sounds like what I want. I'm happy with the tempos, even though they're all over the place, it's the style of the music and it's what I want. But I do want to be able to edit this, I want to be able to maybe adjust some of the tempos and record things along with it. And I'd like to be able to export it into Finale and do some notation. So I want to map it out to the beats that are in the timeline without disturbing the performance. Well, it doesn't even start at bar one, beat one. So I guess I could just trim back my region here to take off any extra space from the region. I could drag it back to bar one, beat one. And that starts to kind of put it on the map. Starts in the right place. But I obviously have some problems here because this is an eight bar tune and it seems to go on for almost 11 bars, the way that it relates to this timeline. And it's a lot of different tempos along the way. So there has to be a way to make flexible adjustments as we go along without disturbing where the MIDI is. I could try to see how far off it is just by turning on the click and listening to what's going on. It really doesn't have anything to do with the click. It seems to accidentally occasionally line up with some of the clicks, but Really, the clicks are just going off on their own. So I'm going to use the beat mapping function. It's one of the available global tracks in Logic. Um, if I control click on the tempo map, I can show the beat mapping track. The beat mapping track is showing some notes in it, it looks like. It's actually just showing the selected region and how it relates to the counter, the timeline. If I select if I select away from the region, there's nothing in there to relate to. You do have to have a region selected. And this is the only region I have in this track, so that's what I'm gonna do. If I play along, I can kind of look at the notes in the track and see what they sound like. You can tell what notes sound like they're on beat one, what notes sound like they're on beat two. Right there, it sounds like one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three. So I have an idea of what the notes sound like. And with that, I can actually just draw, connect, the beats as they are on the timeline, I can click and drag them to a note and let Logic know what they sound like to me. I'm going to draw from beat two here in the timeline, I'm going to draw to connect it to that note. And 
Well, this group of notes that's almost perfectly lined up with beat three, it definitely sounds like the third beat. Let me see if I can connect it any further. It's like, it's almost there. Well, this little group here that starts on what sounds like measure two is kind of late. So I'm gonna click on measure two and connect it right to the one of these notes in that chord. Now you're gonna notice a couple of things. It's drawing a line in wherever I've uh, made a correction. And it's also drawing in tempos here, which are starting to show the actual real tempos that I was playing at. 51, a little slower, and then finally a little slower here at 46. And if I turn on the click again, and just listen to what we've done so far, the clicks should now match with those notes. But the, the MIDI performance shouldn't have changed at all. It should still sound the same. So right up to what I've done so far, now the clicks match. And I'm going to continue forward this way. Just checking and listening. That that low note there, that belongs on beat two. Clicking, dragging it. Looks like I sped up a little is what it looks like. That's for beat three. Measure three. Must be here. Let me check that. Uh, that probably goes more like that. Listen to that again. Da, 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 ba, da. I think this is here. And hmm. I don't know what I was trying to do there. Really put that on beat four the way I played it, so I'm gonna do that. And so that's the downbeat. That's gotta be beat two. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll just do that. Okay. The end result here is something that the clicks match to the beats. There are a lot of tempos all over the place. You can see where I've sped up and slowed down in this tempo map. Um, we have a usable piece of music here. close these global tracks for now and something you'll see now is that actually this piece of music looks like an eight bar piece of music well the region's a little long because of a little space here we could trim it back now it actually looks like an eight bar piece of music it's actually something I could copy and paste to other measures if I felt I needed to speed up or slow down sections of it I actually have a related tempo track here that I can work with and I can certainly export this as a standard MIDI file 
and it'll look like it makes sense in a notation program.